What is accessibility? Who does it enable? Why must we ensure it? To simplistically put, accessibility is simply the ability or the possibility to be able to access anything and everything that encompasses our physical world. Now, it could be the physical infrastructure, which becomes the backdrop for us to perform our daily activities, or it could be the digital or virtual infrastructure uh, that we nowadays use, uh, again, you know, to, to uh, enable our lives and our work. Now, accessibility is not only the needs of persons with disabilities. Why so? Because accessibility uh, is rooted into enabling people of all kinds, irrespective of their differences, by providing an uh, environment that caters to their diverse needs. Now, persons with disabilities uh, are, uh, you know, uh, mandate, uh, are identified or are recognized through the RPWD Act, but one could undergo a disability as a part of their life cycle or maybe through a temporary disability or a phase like pregnancy, etc. So the whole concept of accessibility is all encompassing, it is universal and it benefits not just people with disabilities, but everybody. And that is why we must invest, we must uh, ensure that whatever we create, whatever uh, we produce, it is accessible. Who can enable accessibility? Now, you could be in a position of a designer, you could be a decision maker, you could be in a managerial role, uh, you could be a strategist. Uh, well, in any role, uh, you definitely would have a scope to include to ensure that access of persons with disabilities or people of all kinds is ensured. Accessibility can be to, like I said, the digital, uh, uh, the, uh, the digital interfaces, the physical interfaces, and solutions can be technological or they can be based on, you know, construction or architectural interventions. Um, so let's let's ensure that access is provided to all, and let's understand how accessibility can be integrated into a built infrastructure by doing or ensuring simple things uh, that have to be uh, integrated into a building. What is inaccessibility? What are the barriers one encounters in it? And how can we prevent them to create and promote accessibility? Inaccessibility is simply encountering barriers, right? Now, barriers could be of different kinds. They can be environmental barriers, they can be communicational barriers or language barriers, they can be institutional or policy barriers, and they can simply be social barriers which come out of a mindset, right, which is prejudiced and which confirms or which, you know, refers to stereotypes. Now, inaccessibility is created only when a individual comes in contact with a barrier. So, the whole approach has to be to disrupt these barriers. Now, let me give you one simple example of how accessibility can be created in a building. Imagine there is this theater which has the latest Bollywood film, uh, you know, premiered there and you are wanting to uh, see it uh, the first day, first show. Now, there is also a wheelchair user, a friend of yours, uh, who also wants to accompany you. But unfortunately, when you reach there, you find the theater does not have a ramp for the wheelchair user to get into the building. Now, what is that creating? It's creating inaccessibility and hence exclusion. So, a mere provision of a ramp next to the steps would have created an enabling condition for your friend to get into the building. A simple intervention can, of a ramp can create accessibility for uh, a wheelchair user. Now with that example, I would also like to bring to your attention that most of the times accessibility is equated to provision of a ramp. Now a ramp is not necessarily the need of all diversities in people. Imagine a blind or a deaf uh, or a person with hearing impairment. Now for a blind person, what he needs or she needs is a tactile guiding path that can lead the person to, uh, to independently navigate, move around without anybody's support. 
similarly for a person with hearing impairment probably a well uh, you know uh, designed space with good signage uh, that gives all the required information for the person to reach his or her destination is universal design now we have understood that accessibility is a universal need it's my need it's everybody's need who can become an accessibility champion each one of us can become an accessibility champion and there are ways of being uh, a contributor to this whole movement for creating accessible uh, environments and an inclusive world you can what you can do is identify places that are not accessible and put them into the social media and create uh, you know attention uh, or catch people's attention tweet it to the concerned people uh, create uh, awareness create a noise about it right that's the first one second one wherever you're working wherever you're living if you find that there is somebody who is struggling with access it could be a senior citizen raise your voice ensure that your voice is heard uh, become a part of the decision making uh, team and uh, get the required provisions integrated into any kind of uh, retrofitting or uh, uplifting plan the third way of uh, creating accessibility could be by simply spreading awareness about this word to word mouth to mouth uh, you know uh, publicity or promotion of this cause of this need is something that is going to really uh, matter the most to change the mindsets to change this world so wherever you go talk about accessibility talk about how disabling the environment is talk about good examples and uh, connect to people uh, who can uh, help you to spread the awareness so i think these three things are uh, something that each individual can do to become an accessibility champion